our Lord says in the gospel today, don't, don't try to take the splinter out of your brother's eye when you have a plank in your own eye. Our Lord, again, uh, continuation of the gospel yesterday, speaking about not judging others and how, how critical it is for us in living the Christian life to, to, be, to, to, to be critical of ourselves and not of our neighbor in order to practice charity. And as we are looking at our, our neighbor, we, our focus has to be on uh, helping our neighbor, uh, looking kindly upon them, thinking well about them, trying to pray for them. You know, this, this, this desire to do good to our neighbor, this whole focus of good and charity to our neighbor, and trying to help them in their faults and knowing that we have our own faults. It's good, good as Franciscans to remember that uh, vision that Brother Leo had when the first falls of St. Francis, he saw a line of a line of Franciscans after their death and they were all shining in glory and there was one friar who was shining much brighter than the others and he, this was after the death of St. Francis and St. Francis, he heard the voice of St. Francis say, this brother was shining in greater glory than the others is Brother Berard, my first companion who is in greater glory because he always looked favorably upon his neighbor and always saw himself as the least uh, compared to everyone else. This is the kind of uh, image we want to have, the kind of focus in our relations with our, our neighbor, diminishing ourselves and always looking favorably upon our neighbor, always looking favorably. And if we don't, we, we pass judgment, negative judgment on our neighbor. So we have to review our thoughts, review our thoughts, how we are thinking. This brings to mind a, um, a newspaper article I saw many years ago about Dear Abby, a Dear Abby column, a psychologist who was to give advice to people. And this woman wrote into her and she, she was married and she, she learns from somewhere that if you want to improve your marriage, what you do is you make a list of all the faults of your husband or wife and give that, give that list to them and they'll work on them and your marriage will get better. So she worked this out with her husband and she, she wrote all his faults and gave them to him and he took it and whatever and, uh, and she asked him for, for the, her faults and he, he said, I, I, I thought about it, I couldn't think of any, couldn't think of any faults uh, of you. And this really humbled her, this really struck her, and she came to the conclusion that this, this kind of advice of looking at the faults of each other is not a good thing for your marriage, and that he had the right perspective. He, did, he wasn't in the habit of judging her, and he couldn't even think of uh, faults of hers when he tried. So this kind, of, um, this kind of focus our Lord is calling us to, he's calling us to, to be charitable to our neighbor, not um, calling us to, to think of ourselves as the least. And as friars, of course, we can, we can do that because we are especially called, called as friars minor to be the least. And this is our, our focus, this is our identity. This is the way we are supposed to be. And we must think this way, we must be this and act, act this way. This is our identity as friars, friars minor and as uh, consecrated to Our Lady, Our Lady who was the humblest of all, and uh, learn from her. We must learn from her this kind of humility as we look little, little upon ourselves, we look with great charity to our neighbor, and Our Lady will teach us this, and we must learn.